All right, so in the previous lesson, we have already implemented the group chatting where you can go to the screen here and click on the chat button. And then all the message you're sending will be sending to the whole group. Everyone can see each other. And then we use a user ID to differentiate whether this is a message coming from yourself on the left, on the right, or coming from other people on the left. So in this lesson, we're going to work on uh, the individual message where we send a message directly to someone and then we keep track of all the conversation just between that two users, right? So in order to do that, I think uh, if you understand this message uh, data structure here, it should be pretty straightforward because right now all the message go to this group um, folder. And now what we need to do is to create a new folders for each of the two users for their conversation and then save the same kind of message history just like this, we should be able to display everything. All right, let's try that. So right now, let's come back to the code. And then when you are click on the user, it actually brings you uh, this little simple testing profile page, which we don't need. So we're going to replace that with going to the actual chat uh, window, right? So this is the way it goes to the chat page. And then uh, what we want to do is when you are click on the role and to specific user, right, right here, and then you can actually go to uh, that chat view app as well. All right, so let's try this one here. Go back. All right, now I click on one of the user. I go to the chat view. I click on this again, go to the chat view, right? But this this one is going to the same chat view. Uh, so we need to build a different um, conversation history, uh, even though we're going to here, right? So the key here is where you are loading all the messages and also where you're adding messages. Right now, all the message getters go to the message slash group slash group, all of those. And then also uh, when you are writing the message, it also goes to uh, slash group, right? So obviously we actually need to uh, replace this one at, with a variable. Okay, so this variable will be, we'll call it uh, Firebase. Okay, Firebase um, message root, okay. All right, so we'll do something like this. And then this one, um, it really depends on what uh, the uh, type of a chat you're doing. If you're doing a group chat, then that's gonna be called a group. But if you're doing the two users, okay, now we can design a specific format for that. So for example, every user has a unique ID. So we could actually just use the two IDs um, to, um, to uh, form a, another unique ID and use that as a root. Right. So in that case, we probably need to know whether we have um, two users or not. Right. So in order to do that, actually, let's see uh, if we are uh, starting this chat page. Actually, we need to know if we actually have two users or not. Right. So and then we can create a little constructor here at the top and then we can actually use this thing here. So it's going to be like user um, UID one and then another one is called uid2 so uid1 stands for the first user the current user and uid2 is the user you're, you're clicking so we have to pass both users all right or we can always just pass one because we already know uh, yourself right because you're not going to do this for others so we just pass the the target user id and then if the target user id is uh, let's say empty then that means we're not really clicking anyone and it's just the group chat. But if the, the current user ID is not empty, that means we have specific user and then we're gonna form another uh, root pass here with that ID plus our current user ID. So that's probably the logic. So once you have this, you do need a constructor. I think let's do something like uh, this. It's, okay. it's a simple and uh, simplified way to send this UID. And then right here, let's try it. So if we go, and say that this one here, uh, once we start this state, and then we can check if uh, you can get that UID here. If that one equal to group, all right, and then obviously this part here will be group. All right, otherwise this one will be, let's actually using the one like our current user ID which is this plus that UID. Or maybe we could also do a little um, differentiator right here. 
just differentiate the two. All right. So, and then the UID here, we need to do the widget. All right. Um, but there is a little problem here because uh, we want to make sure that um, every time the two users, when they are clicking on the two, uh, each other, they will go to the same route. And then, but we don't want to always use the current UID at the first one where this one is the second one. So um, they should always go to the same folder. So we want to make sure that this ID is unique for this two user ever. So in other words, I can, for example, sort these two so that they can form always form a, a unique uh, same path no matter who is clicking on each other. Right. So in order to do that, we can actually sort it. OK, we, can just, we don't have to write a sort method. We just do a quick, like a, a simple sort. If, let's say, this one here, all right, if that one compare to, let's try this. I think there is a compare to method we can use. All right, so if that one is greater or equal than zero, and now we're going to do this one, otherwise, we're going to do the other way. So whoever is bigger, okay, so a very simple uh, sort method. So once you have this, now the Firebase uh, message root will have a pass. So all we need to do is replace all of this with the Firebase root, this one here. It could be group, it could be something else. All right, and then also where you're writing the message. And this one here, just be careful, you also need a slash. All right, so now you're replacing all the paths. And then I see it, if it works, okay. So here you have to have to pass the, the, the current user ID, so it's based on the one you're clicking. So this one will be friend list index and then UID is saved. So you're sending this one over. And then this one here, you do have to just pass something called group. Okay, that is uh, default. All right, so let's delete some of the code we're not using and then run this again. All right, so let's just make sure we start. Okay, I start with user eight. All right, so let's still make sure this part still works. Oh, this is not. And then let's actually figure out why. Let's go there. Something is now okay. So let's see what happens here. And this is a chat page. Okay, so the UID is not received. Okay, um, did we do something wrong with this one here? We're passing the UID. And let's see. So this one passes to here, and that one will create this class. And the UID is no, all right. So let's take a look at some of the sample applications in terms of the constructors, how that handled. So we do have this one here. We're receiving the title, everything. Yeah, that shouldn't be the issue here. Let's actually see why this one is throwing a no pointer exception. Let's actually rerun the code because um, I'm not sure if the hot load actually pick up the constructor. So user8 at gmail.com. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I'm gonna go here again, and that actually saw the arrow. Okay, so let's actually do some debugging. I'm gonna print this UID, see if that works. And just some message here. Yeah, so this one here does receive the group. Or right, we do have the group. And then this one here, 
the UID. Oh, it's because we are trying to get this widget. All right, so the widget here, um, when we are calling this constructor, the widget actually is now. Uh, I think that's the cause, right? So let's actually see when do we sh when should we call this in Flutter? Okay, so Flutter um, widget now in uh, state constructor. Yeah, the widget is now, and let's see what happens. Yeah, we should probably use something called initial state. All right, so this is a more kind of a state management. All right, so instead of doing that in the uh, constructor, um, in this state method, there is something called initialize uh, state. Okay, I saw there is a way to automatically generate it. It's actually this one here. All right, let's try to simply uh, move this one here to here. All right, so it, instead of using the constructor, we put that into initial state and see if that works. All right, so yeah, it looks like it's fine. So let's go back and I'm gonna go here and we'll start to type some message here. All right, so it looks like that works. All right, so uh, this is how we can fix it. Basically, the difference between initialized state and the uh, constructor is that initialized state actually follow the state creation pass set. So it's uh, we already explained the state is all these variables and then it's bonded with the UI and then it's uh, controlled by the state parent class used in the stateful widget in Flutter. And the constructor, I guess it's uh, just because it's running too fast. So some of the widget reference is not available when the code reaches here. All right, so that's you still have this uh, how you build this uh, group chat. Now we're gonna, we're gonna go to the uh, user chat, right? So now I can create a user chat. For example, I'm gonna talk to John. All right, and right now nothing happens because we did not have anything between the two users, right? So let's start to try to talk. All right, so I'm gonna talk. Hi, John. And I click on send a message. All right, so now this time we are forming a new pass here. And then the ID is actually based on my ID and then John's ID. All right, so let's try this again. How are you? All right, so let's still go to that folder and the message is the same. Let's talk a little bit more. I am learning Flutter. All right, so that's how it works. Now let's test it with a different phone here. I'm gonna bring my iOS device again. All right, and let's try to run everything so that we can test it. And then let's also find out what is John's email. Okay, John is using user file. All right, so, so after a while, I did actually find this is actually so something so they are supposed stupid. to see each other. Right, so and basically, then they all go this is a role, and then we do have the whole web. It's just not. Works. We're not aligning things to the right. Okay, we only align this part here. We didn't align the whole row. So all we need to do is go here to shift the main access alignment. We make that to the to the end. And that's gonna fix everything. So that was a very like a simple error here. Okay, so I'm gonna you know, rerun this again. Alright, so this is the Android version that comes to here. All right, so now let's start login, uh, and then this is a user five gmail.com gmail gmail and the same password, password I one, use. Two, three, four, five, six. Click on login. All right, login. All right, so same view here. Let's actually okay, check the group chat. And uh, looks like still works and because this guy didn't send anything right. before. So let me also up here, right? Talk. And the same time for the iOS, and then we can try right, to run so the iOS here. Also. All right, so and then coming back. This oh, actually, here. we do need a we uh, go back button. Actually, we realize that one. All right, well. so but you can swipe it to, to go, go back, back right. To uh, go back here. and then let's click on. Oh, we're going to talk to Ben, so right? Started. So in this user here, I think we're Ben. So this is John. Click on the Ben. All right, so now the same message shows up, but then this one goes to the left. So hey, Ben. Click on send. All right, looks like the Xcode code build has well. been finished. And then we are going about here you? one more time to try. So this is user10 right. at gmail.com. 
Is it one, two, three, four, five, six? All right, so that's how it works. Now you go back to the chat view, the of the users, and every and single action will be saved and under here. Right, right. As you can see, this and then the even user, though the two users, uh, they are they each log in as their their major master user. They use the same folder because we already sorted. We make sure that the ID so coming from the two are the same order each time, so that just like a real it, that's how we can control the. Right, so that's uh, kind of a quick data pass demonstration of how this chat okay. uh, app works in both right, that's how Android we can and iOS. The private message between the two, and um, definitely go ahead and try it.